Making a TV show is a lot like rhythmic gymnastics. It's about impressing an audience, there are lots of people running around in glitter and spandex, and above all else, you have to stick the landing. There are so many great series that have fallen flat with a weak ending, taking years of fan goodwill and support and throwing it straight into the bin. Now, it's not easy to get an ending right. Writers have to wrap up every character's storyline, fill in any missing plot points, and make sure their fans are happy without making it too predictable. Which is why it's even more frustrating when a show gets its perfect ending and then keeps going. Some of these shows were just one season out from a perfect finale. Others stuck around for much longer than that, whilst a few shouldn't have carried on beyond their first run of episodes. So with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 shows that wasted their perfect ending. Number 10. Prison Break Long form serial TV wasn't popular when Prison Break was first pitched to Fox. However, thanks to the success of shows like 24 and Lost, the studio backed the production and the first season aired in 2005. Chronicling the lives of brothers Lincoln and Michael, Prison Break's first season was praised for its originality and suspense. Over the course of 22 episodes, audiences became firmly invested in the brothers' plight and rejoiced when they made their escape from jail and flew off into the sunset on a plane. And that is where the series should have stopped. The setting of a prison was what made the show so compelling to watch. It was claustrophobic, which pushed character relationships to breaking point, and the question of whether or not they would ever escape drove the plot forward brilliantly. But once all of this was gone, the show had no hook to it. Prison Break ended up becoming just another overblown action thriller with convoluted, continent-striding plots that were far too big to get invested in properly. It would have functioned far more effectively as a miniseries, but with too much money on the table, there was no way that was ever going to happen. Number 9. Glee The series that proved that it's okay to be different, unless you don't have a professional quality singing voice. Glee paraded itself over all of our screens for 121 episodes across six seasons. Pitting members of the New Directions against the evils of bad teachers, teenage angst and music copyright law, Glee was extremely popular during its run and revolutionised the way in which musical television was done. It was like that episode of Buffy where they all sang, but every single week. Unfortunately, the general consensus amongst fans is that the show should have had its run cut in half. At the end of the third season, eight core members of the New Directions graduate from William McKinley High School. Whilst there were still plenty of people in the club, thousands of them by the looks of it, the show was never the same after this lot left school. Characters like Rachel, Quinn and Kurt made appearances in the show after this season, but they didn't feel as connected to the story as they had done before. Graduation was the perfect place to end the show. Instead, we got an encore that nobody really asked for. Number 8. Scrubs a love story with some occasional surgery thrown in, Scrubs was a very popular sitcom that lasted from 2001 all the way to 2010, although its last year was pretty rough. The show was originally narrated by JD, a medical intern played by Zach Braff. JD's adventures at Sacred Heart Hospital made up a bulk of the show's stories. He was supported by a cast of characters including love interest Elliot, the dry as a desert Dr. Cox, and JD's best friend, Turk. Scrub's characters were always the best thing about it. They were very likeable and very easy to invest in, making their highs and lows all the more exciting to follow. This might explain why interest in the show fell off a cliff when most of the original characters were gutted during its ninth and final season. Only Dr. Cox and Turk were regulars in the show's last run, with JD showing up in less than half of the episodes. Now, Season 8 had wrapped up with a main character says goodbye to everyone episode, so the show had already had its perfect ending. Instead, it was kept on life support needlessly made to suffer, and so was its audience. Number 7. The Hundred The Hundred, that's The Hundred Not The One Hundred, as the title confusingly suggests, was a post-apocalyptic young adult series that wrapped up in September 2020. It tracked a group of teenagers returning to the planet Earth decades after it was ravaged by nuclear war and their fight for survival in this dangerous new world. Season 5 of the show ended in pretty spectacular fashion when all of the surviving main characters Characters chose to cryogenically freeze themselves for 10 years to avoid doing further damage to the Earth. However, when the sleep ends, they discover that they have actually been in suspended animation for over a century. Don't you just hate it when you oversleep? 
They're informed that the planet still hasn't recovered from the devastating events of the past, but there is still a sense of hope surrounding the future of civilization. None of that hope lasts though, as the show was dragged out for another two seasons. Leaving things open-ended on a TV show is a perfectly fine thing to do, and a show like The 100 would have benefited massively from an ambiguous yet optimistic conclusion. Number 6. Supernatural Do you ever mess up so badly that you accidentally release the literal devil? If your name is either Sam or Dean Winchester, then the answer is yes. The Demon Slaying Brothers made this oopsie at the end of the fourth season of Supernatural and spent the next batch of episodes trying to get Lucifer back in his cage. They succeeded, but only through Sam becoming the fallen angel's vessel. The younger sibling is eventually able to overcome Lucifer's control and send him back into his prison, sacrificing his own body and soul in the process. Despite Sam being pulled down to the underworld, this episode actually wraps things up pretty nicely. The crooked archangel Michael is also banished, which clears things up in heaven, and Dean comes home to Lisa, a woman he has fallen for. But the show was far from over. Sam manages to get out of Lucifer's cage, and his brother eventually rejoins him as a hunter. Supernatural lurched on for a total of 15 seasons, getting progressively worse as it went along. Obviously, leaving Sam in the cage wasn't ideal, but this would have been a much better ending than the one that fans got. Number 5. One Tree Hill One Tree Hill clocked in nearly 200 episodes over almost 10 years of broadcast. A classic teen drama, the show centred around the lives of half-brothers Lucas and Nathan Scott as they learned to accept each other and tackle the problems of the big wide world together. That's slightly condescending, but not wholly inaccurate. Signs that the series was on the decline emerged after season 6. The actor who played Lucas, Chad Michael Murray, announced that he was not returning to the show. The same applied to Hilary Burton, who played another major character, Peyton Sawyer. One Tree Hill carried on into a 7th and 8th season despite these losses, with the latter providing a beautiful final episode. Characters Haley and Brooke reopen a cafe belonging to Lucas's mother. Brooke gives birth, and Nathan's son, Jamie, Amy touchingly recreates an iconic shot of his father from the series' first episode. Everything came full circle, until the show was commissioned for a ninth and final season. The perfect ending was right there! Instead, fans ended up getting 13 more episodes where one of the main characters gets kidnapped. Why? Number 4. The Simpsons The world's top astrophysicists have been debating one question for decades. What will end first? The Simpsons or the known universe? It seems impossible that a time without Springfield's first family ever existed. Children who watched the show when it first aired could conceivably be grandparents by now, having watched characters they enjoyed growing up with their own children by their side. As long as the show continues to be popular and make money, it's unlikely that its plug will be pulled. But that is a shame, because the perfect out for the series was right there in 2007, and it was called The Simpsons Movie. After their first foray into feature film, Homer and his family set about rebuilding their lives after the destruction of the dome. Marge forgives her husband for his past transgressions, and the two literally ride off into the sunset together. Roll the credits. That's the ending. Regrettably, the show has continued to limp on. Its quality seems to rise and fall constantly, and will depend on your age, but there's no way it's ever going to recapture the magic of its glory days. A big screen swan song would have been a great ending for this perfectly cromulent series. Number 3. Once Upon a Time The 22nd and last episode of the sixth season of Once Upon a Time is literally called The Final Battle. But is it actually the final episode of the show? Well, what do you think? Taking fairy tale characters into the real world and making them all incredibly attractive, Once Upon a Time was a great show that should, by all accounts, have ended with this episode. After an epic battle between light and darkness, Emma sacrifices herself to unleash her true power and end the fight. As a result, all of the evil that occurred throughout the series is reversed, the dead characters are brought back to life, and everyone is free to live their happy beginnings. There would be no happy ending for the show itself, however, as it was brought back for one last pointless season. Set well into the future, the series now centred around Henry Mills, who was a child throughout the first six seasons. Almost none of the main cast returned, leaving this season feeling weirdly disjointed from what had come before it. If only there was a magic spell that could undo this atrocity of a decision. Number 2. The Office it's never easy to keep a show interesting once a major or beloved character leaves. When that character is the one and only Michael Scott, the task becomes almost impossible. Steve Carell's megalomaniac office manager bowed out of the US version of The Office in an episode aptly titled Goodbye Michael. Having proposed to Holly and needing
needing to move closer to his parents, Michael leaves the Scranton brand of Dunder Mifflin for good after saying goodbye to most of his former employees. The episode has that usual office misery hanging over it, but it's still very sweet. As awful a person as he was, Michael was weirdly likeable in a way, and seeing him leave his life behind to start a new one was enough to cause more than a few tears. Although he was replaced by another high-caliber star in Will Ferrell until his character's basketball injury, Steve Carell's departure was the beginning of the end for The Office. The show just wasn't as good without Michael to anchor it, and his farewell was the perfect opportunity to draw it to a close. Number 1. 13 Reasons Why We're capping off this list in the exact same way we started it, with a show that should have ended after one season. 13 Reasons Why had everyone hooked when it first dropped in 2017. The show documented the suicide of high school student Hannah Baker and the cassette tape she left behind explaining her actions. Though it was criticised by some for its triggering content, it was heralded by others for its unflinching look at taboo subjects and its sense of mystery. Hope they enjoyed that mystery while it lasted, because it all disappeared when the show was brought back for three more seasons. Much like Prison Break, 13 Reasons Why lost its central conceit way too early. The show had run its course as soon as Hannah's secrets were revealed, but the show needlessly provided not one, not two, but three epilogues to this story. There's a reason why the first season of the show has a 77% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and the second one scored 28%. People just were not interested in this show anymore, and we think that's our perfect ending to this list. Or maybe we should carry on a bit longer. No, no, that was the perfect ending. Damn it! And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Little Child. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.